What is going on YouTube? This is the DZ and I'm coming at you guys today with another video. And today's video is actually the last video that I'm going to do in 2016. So I wanted to quickly say Happy New Year's and Happy Holidays to everybody that's out there. I really do hope that everybody has a safe New Year's Eve slash New Year's. Make sure that you guys are all cautious. You know there's going to be drunk driving, a lot of partying and stuff going on. So I really do hope that everybody stays safe. Uh, but with that said, this is my top five sneaker pickups this year. I didn't really pick up too many sneakers. Uh, most of my sneaker pickups this year were uh, Jordans and I actually do have another video coming with my last two pickups of this year that I haven't done a video yet for you guys so I will make sure to get that up within the next couple of days but uh, yes top five sneaker pickups mostly Jordans in my collection this year but I did pick up a couple of other things um, that will be in my top five as well and um, if you guys have been following my videos and my Instagram closely you guys could probably pick out my top five uh, maybe not in the correct order but you might be able to pick out what shoes I picked up in that top five. Um, one other thing that I wanted to touch on before I get into this video, I did promise that I would do the unboxing of the Bear Bricks that I picked up from my Black Friday uh, little haul that I picked up. But uh, something went wrong with my audio on those videos that I was uh, recording, so I pretty much have to do some kind of a voiceover. I'm um, working on that right now. It was kind of a longer video, um, so that's what I'm working on other than this top five for you guys and the last two sneaker pickups of 2016. Uh, most are all of these videos will get up as fast as I possibly can get them up to you guys. So make sure that you guys stay tuned. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this top five. Coming in at number five, I picked up the Wool Jordan 3s right here. This shoe is definitely a slept on pair. Uh, I definitely slept on these when they first dropped, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I didn't really know how they looked in person, so I didn't wanna uh, hop on online, you know, and try to grab them or even, uh, you know, go to the store because it was kind of very limited out here in Las Vegas. So I thought they were gonna be sold out, so I didn't wanna waste my time going to the store. But they just so happened to have these at Crossover uh, when I went there the other day and they were 30% off so 30% off of 200 uh, you can't beat that this shoe right here the quality on these are crazy I really am digging the wool on the upper of the shoe um, this was one of the last pickups but I will make a video uh, for you guys like I said before but yo these things are crazy thick I mean these things are gonna be great for the winter right now that's coming or that's already here actually um, but yo this colorway is dope just the all gray upper with the white white out bottom I mean these things are sick man if you guys aren't feeling these I mean I don't know what's wrong with you guys these things are cold so there you guys go that's my number five pickup the wool Jordan 3 all right, so coming in at number four, I have a Jordan 4, and this is the OG white cement colorway that came out earlier this year. This was definitely a pickup. I, this was a must cop for me. Uh, I did a small camp out for these. It wasn't the longest camp out. I've definitely done some longer camp outs, but it definitely was worth it. I had to cop these. I've had a couple pairs of the 99s, but they were both crumbled on me. The two pairs that I had crumbled on me, so I had to get rid of those. And I was definitely happy that these dropped. It had the Nike Air on the back, and these are definitely close to that 99 colorway. Um, I mean, if not dead on, I mean, these things are extremely nice. Uh, I haven't worn these yet. As you guys can see, they're still dead stock. I'm waiting to break these things out. Um, but these were definitely, I, I had to cop these. I had the 2012 pair, but I ended up getting rid of those so that I can get my dad a pair. And uh, he wears those to this day. That's probably one of his favorite shoes. So I definitely had to make sure that I picked this one up when it came out again because I was out a pair. Um, I actually had the 99 pair, I think, like two years ago. But like I said, they crumbled on me, so I had to get rid of them so I've been out a pair for a couple of years so definitely had to cop these pick these up at WSS so shout out to WSS on these and yeah that's pretty much it so number four white cement fours all right so coming in at number three I picked up the Yeezy 750s in that chocolate brown colorway right there let me see if I can uh get it to look better there you guys go there it is the chocolate brown Yeezy 750s uh, this was my, actually my first 750 that I've ever picked up and I picked these up for 650 if you guys haven't seen my uh, video on these you guys seen that I picked these up for 650 I actually wore these one time 
Um, not really uh, like a really strong wear on these yet, uh, but I did wear them one time just for a little while. And uh, these things are really nice, honestly. Um, I was kind of scared that I, it was going to be harder to match with, but these things pretty much can be matched with a lot of stuff. Um, that brown and this uh, gum bottom right here definitely go with a lot of neutral colors. So um, when I put an outfit together for these, I actually have it on my Instagram. Um, a lot of people were complimenting me on that. So uh, shout out to everybody that's seen that and that gave me compliments on that. But there it is, my first 750 pickup uh, ever. And it happened to be in 2016 and it was the chocolate brown 750s. All right, so coming in at number two, I picked up another pair of 750s, and that is the Glow 750s. It has that all gray upper with the gum bottom that has the glow in the dark outsole. Um, these things are really, really nice. I wore these a handful of times. Probably um, my favorite 750s out of the two that I have right now. I'm still looking for a triple black. Uh, that's probably my favorite out of all the 750s, but um, I was able to pick these up. And if you haven't seen uh, my video on these, I did pick these up for a trade. And and I was definitely happy with these because I've already worn these a lot more than I wore that shoe that I traded for these. And if you want to know what I traded for these, make sure to go check out that video. Um, but yeah, I definitely was happy to pick this one up. And that's why it's coming in at number two. And that is the Glow 750s. Alright, so before we get into my number one pickup of 2016, I do have a couple of honorable mentions, and that is the Air Jordan 5 in that OG uh, black metallic colorway, as you guys can see right there with the Nike Air on the back, and then I have this Timberland 6 inch boot in this deep purple slash maroonish colorway. Uh, pick these up. Actually, I got gifted these from WSS. So shout out to WSS and I got a steal on these So definitely two shoes that I was excited to pick up this year as you guys can see This shoe right here is actually still dead stock and this one I wore one time uh, pretty lightly, but I did wear these one time nonetheless. So there you guys go, my two honorable mentions for 2016. Now let's get into that number one pickup. All right, so coming in in that number one spot is the Air Jordan 1 in that band 2016 colorway. I definitely was so excited to pick this one up. I mean, the last time I owned a bread one was back in high school, and I had to get rid of that pair because they were too small for me after my foot grew. And yo, after that, I was searching for a pair. Uh, I missed out on the the last release. I believe it was, uh, I wanna say 2013 uh, release of the bread ones. Um, I was out of town. I was going to school and college and they didn't have malls out there that had the Jordan ones coming out so um, I actually missed out on them I tried to go online but you know how that goes I struck out on those I don't have any bots so I ended up striking out on that pair and I was not able to grab that pair I was kind of disappointed but when I heard about these I had to make sure that I picked these up I did do a camp out for these uh, I camped out at flight 23 out here in Las Vegas for about eight to nine hours and uh, that was actually I was coming back from out of town, uh, so I didn't know that Flight 23 was doing a first come first serve until one of my homies had hit me up, so I was extremely excited. So as soon as I touched down right in town, uh, made a phone call, asked the homie where he was at. He told me he was already at Flight 23. As soon as I came home and put my bags away, I went, rushed right to the mall, and I did that camp out. I was about 50th in line, but they had about 200 pairs at Flight 23, so I was able to get my size, thankfully. And yo, this pair right here is my number one pick, so I mean, I'm sure that this pair right here is a lot of people's number ones, but I mean, there it is. That's my number one pick, the Air Jordan 1 band. All right, you guys, so that's pretty much gonna conclude this video. There you guys have it, my top five sneaker pickups of 2016. Make sure that you leave your comments below. Please you leave your comments below. I wanna know what you guys think about my top five. And please let me know if your guys' top five was similar to mine. And if not, let me know what your guys' top five was. Uh, like I said before, most of my sneaker pickups this year were Jordans. So as you guys saw, that's what my top five mostly consisted of. But you can't really blame me. Uh, they, Jordan had a pretty decent year of dropping um, some pretty good shoes this year. I mean, with a lot of the OG colorways coming out with the Nike Airs on the back, you know, a lot of people were going after those shoes. And I was able to pick up a handful of them. But there it is. That's my pickups. Make sure that you give 
this video a huge thumbs up. This is the last video of 2016, but I do have a couple more videos stirring up for you guys, so make sure that you stay tuned for those. And once again, make sure that you guys have a very safe New Year's Eve slash New Year's, and I will see you guys in 2017.